start in front of this old house and it is a big corner lot so I'm real excited to be doing this very first tone very first hole I got myself a wheat penny so that's pretty cool great start it is a um, 19 looks like 1956 D so it's just barely a wheat but it's still a great start I'm gonna keep going see what else I can find be back with you at the next hole I was digging a lot of broken glass right next to this and uh, got a tone, which couldn't be it, but this is kind of cool. It's a complete little jar, and the bottom says mentholatum on it. I don't know how old that would be, but it's kind of cool. I remember mentholatum when we were growing up, but I think it's been around since at least maybe the 50s, maybe even earlier. Not sure. Anyway, I'm going to keep on looking. Uh, I had a tone in this hole, so I might actually have the lid for this, too. So I'm going to keep on looking, see what else I got. And I will be back soon. So this was running a 78, and uh, it was down in the hole. It's a bent up little dessert spoon, and looks like I might have uh, just grazed it right here. It looks like it's copper. So that's kind of cool. I think it'll clean up real nicely. Let's see if there's some sort of mark on the back. I'm pretty sure there is, but I can't really tell in this light. So we're gonna clean it up when we get home. So kind of a cool little find, different. And happy to have it. It's got kind of a neat little, like an angel or something, on the face, on the spoon handle. So that's kind of neat. I'm gonna keep on looking, see what else I can find. Be back with you at the next. This hole. might be my last hole for the night. I uh, found an uh, old tree stump right here, and under the tree, got a good signal, and I got a wheat penny. It looks like it's a 1956 maybe, and there's a spider which should normally freak me out, but not so much today. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it for the day, but I hope to get back here and finish up digging soon. Thanks for joining, and we'll be back with you as soon as I have some more to share. Hey guys, it is really going to be hot today, but I thought I'd come out in the morning and try my luck back at the site I was at the other day. And uh, you can see I put the plug up, and right here I got a coin. So I thought we would check it out together, see what we got. And it looks like it is a 1968, so it is not, um, it's a stinking Lincoln. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a memorial, uh, older memorial, but it is not a wheat penny. Oh, this is interesting. Um, this is a hole I dug the other day, and right next to it, I'm still getting a tone. And I got this, and it was about eight inches down, all the way at the bottom of this hole. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's easily eight inches. It's a token, kind of mangled token, and uh, it says JVF. Um, I, know I might have to try to clean this up a little better. Um, can't really tell what it says, but it's kind of cool. I, uh, I'm happy to find something with writing on it. 
And I'm sure that there's a story behind it that I would love to find out This about. was ringing at 81, which is slightly higher than what I was getting on the pennies. And I got my first Canadian penny in a long time and an ant next to it. It was 1942, so it's older, kind of cool. Happy to have it. I'm going to keep on looking see what else I can find. Be back with you at the next hole. This is kind of a weird little town, and I got my first little piece of bling. It looks like it might be part of a bracelet. It's got a stone on the other side. Uh, costume jewelry, but I would say it's older. So kind of cool. I'm going to hunt around a little, see if there's any more pieces of this. I'll be back with you if I find anything else. I'm out back, and I don't know what kind of garbage hole this might be, but there's some broken glass. And it looks to me to be half of some kind of a compact. So, looks like I also dinged it with a shovel. So, kind of cool. I'm going to keep on looking, see what else I can find. Be back with you at the next hole. Well, I didn't find my uh, lid for the methylatum jar, but I got the next best thing. I got my token mason jar lid for the day. And, uh, yeah, pretty complete, too. You keep on looking, and I pull these little pieces of glass out because I don't really like leaving them in the ground for a dog to dig up or anything. So we're going to clean up a little bit here and keep on looking. We'll be back with you soon. I'm still back by this old tree that looks like they were dumping garbage at. And this is really kind of cool. I was getting kind of a high town, and I got this little pin. And it's some sort of, I'm guessing, membership pin because it's got a serial number on it. I don't know what avenue it is, but I'm going to definitely look this up when I get home, so if you would like to find out about it. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep on digging, see what else I can find. Be back with you at the next hole. This one almost had me fooled. The first thing I came up with was this at the bottom of the hole, and I thought that was my tone, so I was uh, covered up the hole, I was ready to go, but I rescanned it, and I still had a tone. Sure enough, I popped the plug back up, and I got myself a wheat penny. So. That's pretty cool. Second week for the day. I'm going to keep on looking, see what else I can find, and I'll be back with you soon. Last hole, and I found a good one. It's a 1910 penny, and it's right out in front. And I am going to have to call it a day, but I will be back soon to finish up this yard. Thanks again for joining. Had a good time. Hope you did too. Please uh, like this video if you liked it, or don't like it, whatever. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more from us as we are digging. Okay, so here I got an 81 at 2 to 4. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have just a tiny bit of shiny, and I'm hoping it's silver. Let's see what I got here. Looks like it is. I don't know what it is yet. Let's see if we can get it cleaned up. Oh, it looks like I got a rose about, so. Silver Rosie, still better than nothing. I'm gonna keep on looking, see what else I can find. Back to the next hole. Well, it looks like it's an older Rosie, so that's cool. It's in 1946. Can't tell if there is a mint mark or not. But anyway, that's what I got. You can keep on looking, see what else I can find. Be back with you at the next hole. Hey guys, uh, the ground is actually moist now, so I figured we would come back out to this house. My friend is out here detecting. And I got another tone right here in the plug. I thought we could look at it together real quick. So. Okay, so let's try this one again. This was toning pretty decent, and it looks like I got a coin. Now you guys can see it right here. Oh, a dime. And it looks like we got a silver dime, so that is awesome. Let's clean it up real quick and see what kind it is. Oh. It looks like we got a Roosevelt, which actually oh, Roosevelt's nice. are. Oh. They're still silver, which is cool, but they're the newest ones. I'll see if I can get a year off of it. It is 1957, so wow. it's at least it's an older Rosie. That's kind of cool. Yeah. We keep on going, see what else we can find. Okay. We'll be back at the next hole. Nice penny. Look at this. This is, it was looking kind of tone, it was toning kind of tinny, so I wasn't sure. But it looks like we got ourselves another wheat penny. Mm. So I'm so glad it came back out now that the ground is more moist. Let's see what we got here. i clean it off of my jeans. So you can do this. With wheat pennies, you can rub them all you want. Oh, but you can't do silver. Oh, no. Okay. And it looks like it might be an older one. I think I see 1915. Oh. So that is super old. It's a good find. I'm going to keep going so what else we can find. We'll be back at the next hole. Okay, so I didn't live dig this one, but I wanted to show you a quick. It's getting this beautiful tone. We all thought it'd be a silver quarter, but instead we got parts of an oil lamp. Actually, three parts of an oil lamp. 
kind of cool old relic. It was about eight inches down. I'm going to keep going and see what else we can find. Here's my mystery object for the day. It was tiny like it was a penny, but it looks like a little replica of a bottle. It looks like this has got a bottle top. It's empty on the bottom. I don't know if there's any writing on it or not. <laughs> kind of cool. If anybody's ever seen something like that, appreciate a heads up. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep looking, see what else I can find. Okay, here I was chasing a tone that turned out to be junk. But I got this piece of pottery when I turned it over. It had this writing on it, which I just thought was really cool. So, some kind of china. I don't know, kind of neat. I'm going to keep on going, see what else I can find. Okay. Do kind of a live dig here. Because it was a beautiful signal, so let's see what it is. There you go, now just flip it up. Perfect. Oh, nope. This one, I'll put it back. Yeah, here's a pinpointer. It might be in the plug because it was no. not super deep. Oh, okay. No. Put that back up. Oh, yeah. It's going to be over here. Let's see if we can find it. Unless it's picking up your shovel. Oh. Nope, that was picking up the shovel. Oh, okay. <laughs> There it is. It's, there. it's over here. It's in here. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. See, once I get on my knees without my knee pad, then I can't get back up. Let's see. No, nope, still here. It's right there. Okay, if you give me the shovel, I'll, uh, I'll flip up just a little more dirt. This thing is super sensitive. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go ahead and we're just going to flip up a little more dirt. Like this. And then we'll go for it again. There it is. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, you know what it is? It's a spam can key. Oh, spam. Yeah, it's toning beautifully. But oh, yes. Yeah, it's what they call a bazinga. Oh, bazinga. Yep. Well, this was kind of a fun little bonus hunt. I got this permission today, and since it's right on the main street, it used to be a parsonage, I thought it would have some cool stuff. I did find that cool coin, but everything else is glad. I'm going to have to come back here again and try again another time. Thanks for joining and digging out. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Ten inches down. Ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home.